Welcome back. So the get by ID failed. Let me just try and show you what I'm talking about right here. When I called the get by ID right here to get a single customer by ID, I get this exception back. It says something with internal server error right here, and that pretty much means you can find something in your console log when you're still working uh, locally. So let's just try and jump into our code right here and have a look at the console. And you'll notice right here is actually a good description about what's going on. And I can actually also read it's something with not implemented. The method operation is not implemented. That might explain why it's not working. And it seems it should actually call the order repository read all. And we didn't implement that yet, so that's the error. But I just want to show you guys how easy it is to actually go and check out your uh, console logs right here and find errors. In my case, it says fail with a red line right here. It's a bit different in, in Visual Studio, but it's the same idea. And what you should do is always look for your code, right? Something that you wrote and maybe you can find out what's actually going wrong. In this case, let's check out the order repository, the read all. It says that's not implemented, and it's right. We didn't put in the read all right here, so let me just put in the context right here and do orders and just return that, because that was all I had to do again to kind of return all the different orders. And let's just try and restart and see if that fixed the problem. Program is running again. Let's try and jump in here and try and, first we need to post again, uh, so I, I don't have any customer set up in the beginning, so I'll just have to make a customer and just make sure he's there, and then let's just try and create that one customer. Now I can get him. Okay, so it seems to be working now, um, because I have the read all now. So now the read by ID works. We don't get any orders back because we don't have any orders yet. We'll have to implement that part of the code as well, but you can go and do that yourself. It's nothing. We've already done it. We just need to do it in the new repository, but I just wanted to show you. That was actually the exception we got before. Simple stuff, and of course, if you get errors, go and check your code. Check down here if you got a 500 uh, internal server error. You have to go and check your code, your console app, because normally there will be some kind of exception in here, and that's what you need to go and fix. So that's it for this lesson. Next lesson, we'll just keep expanding on this application. See you next time. Have fun.